Nelson. And Ms. Hall. And today we are going to be going over similar figure characteristics. Okay. Um, so basically what this means is these are the rules that you need to go through in order to know if two shapes are similar or not. Okay. So there are some vocab words. So there's similar figures and that's polygons that have the same shape but different size. That's very important because otherwise they would be congruent because that's the same shape and same size. We have corresponding, which means having the same position, so in the same spot on the, um, on the two different shapes. Um, and two polygons are similar if, so you might want to get out a highlighter, okay? I'm going to start highlighting some things um, just to kind of help them stand out, and we're going to continue to use our highlighters as we go um, throughout our similar figure study, so make sure you always want to have two color highlighters with you. So polygons are similar if the corresponding angles are congruent, meaning that your angles are the same, and the side lengths of the corresponding sides are congruent, okay? And, I'm sorry, are proportional. So, and they're proportional because of a scale factor, and we're gonna get into scale factor a little bit later this week. So, our first question says, show if the triangles below are similar or not. So, the first thing I'm gonna do, these two triangles are facing two different ways, okay? So, what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna flip this smaller triangle and make it face the same way as my bigger triangle. So I'm going to redraw it. And you don't have to be an artist. You just got to be able to read what you're writing. Okay, so I know if here, right here, is angle C, okay, then that means that X would have come up here and Y would have been over here. So now I'm going to label all the rest of my sides according to um, what everything says. So YZ here is 20. ZX is 15. My hypotenuse is 25, and you guys are going to learn to love that word, hypotenuse. Okay, this is 90. This angle here is 55 degrees, and this angle here is 30 degrees. I'm sorry, 35 degrees. Okay, so when I said you needed highlighters, here's why you need highlighters. You are going to highlight corresponding sides, okay? And for that, all that means is you're going to highlight the same side on both um, triangles at this point. So like AC, I'm gonna highlight it, which is corresponding to XZ. Okay, then I'm gonna switch colors and I'm gonna do one more side. I'm gonna do CB, which is ZY, okay? The reason we are doing this, we are now going to solve um, to see if these are similar based on these two um, rules, I guess, that we highlighted above. So, first of all, I'm going to check my angles. This angle matches my angle of a 35, and this angle of 55 matches this angle of 55, and my 90s match. So, I already have angles that are congruent. My angles are the same. So, now I'm ready to step on to the next one. To check it, I'm going to take my side length. So, I'm going to set up a proportion to make sure that these are, in fact, um, in a proportional relationship. So I'm going to take my yellow side on the big one, which is 24, and set it up over my blue side of 32, and I'm going to equal it to, now because I put yellow on top here, I'm going to put 15 on top here and 20 on bottom here, okay? So to see if they're the same, all we have to do is cross multiply. Now, I'm not solving for anything. All I'm doing is solving for, to see what the answer is when I multiply the two together. So I'm going to scoot it down just a little bit. So I'm going to multiply 15 times 32. So when I do that, I get 480. So now I'm going to multiply the other two, which is 24 times 20. And I get 480. Because they both equal 480 when I do the cross products, I know and my angles are the same, then I'm going to say yes, they are similar. So I'm going to say yes, triangle ABC is similar to, and that little wig piece is the symbol for similar, to triangle XYZ because you notice I'm not doing BC, I'm actually writing it out. The angles are congruent. And 
and the sides are proportional. Okay? Okay, so now we're going um, down to um, our examples underneath, and we're going to find out if the following angles are similar. So, um, we're going to um, highlight our corresponding sides. And so let's get our highlighter. So I'm going to highlight DC and ZY and AD and WZ. And I'm going to do one more color. And then since we have a four-sided figure here, and then we know the one that is not highlighted is similar to each other. Okay, so um, I'm going to set these up in a proportion. So I'm going to use um, this side and this side, and I'm going to compare them to their corresponding side, which I know 45, right? That this is 45 over here because it is over here. And so my proportion is 18 over 36, 18, 36, and now I'm going to compare it to my second one, equals 25 over 45. Now I'm going to cross multiply. Okay, so I'm gonna come over here, 18 times 45, Five times eight, 40, Nine. Okay. <laughs> oh wait, I have it now. Four times eight, thirty-two. Four seven. It's early. Nine ten eleven eight. Okay, we have eight hundred and ten, and so that's going to be. Here, now I'm going to multiply 25 and 36. 6 and 5 is 30, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, 3 times 5 is 15. 6, 7, 8, 9. And I got 900 over here. So those are not similar figures, even though we know that they do have all um, the angles, corresponding angles are equal because they're all 90 degrees, but the sides are not um, proportional. So because these two numbers did not come out the same. So the way we would write that, I don't have any room. I'm gonna erase this guy's, my work so I can write my conclusion. Okay, so no, rectangles A, B, C, D, and W, X, Y, Z are not similar. because the sides are not proportional. And remember guys, you have to use math to, um, to prove your um, conclusion because a lot of times a side, they will look similar until you go to actually do the math, and that's um, when you find out that they aren't. Okay. okay, so our last one says, are the following triangles similar? Okay, so again, I'm going to take my small triangle and I'm going to redraw it over here so that I can find it easier to do corresponding sides. So that's going to be K, which means that R is going to be here and G is going to be here. So that angle is 60 degrees. This angle is 30 degrees, this side is 17, 15, and we have 8. Okay, 
So I'm going to start by highlighting my corresponding sides. So if I do an 8 here, then that's going to be my 16. And if I do a 15 here, I'm going to do the 30 here, okay? So the first thing I do is go through and look and make sure that my angles are the same. I have my two 60s, I have my 30s, and my 90s, and they are all in the same place. So now I'm ready to set up my proportion to see if it is in fact going to be um, similar or not. So I'm going to take my 8 and put it over 15, and because I did yellow on top first, I'm going to do my other yellow on top. Guys, and there's multiple ways that you can set these up. I can do yellow over yellow and green over green. Um, there's lots of ways, just however you do it, make sure that you are consistent with the manner in which that you are setting it up. So now I'm going to cross multiply. So I know that 8 times 30 is 240, because 8 times 3 is 24, add that extra 0. So now I'm going to multiply 15 times 16. And I also get 240. So because my cross products are the same and my angles are congruent, my corresponding angles are congruent, I'm going to say yes, triangle TPN is similar to triangle GKR because the angles are congruent and the sides are proportional. All right, so there's your answer. So make sure that you come to class prepared with any questions you have um, because this is going to be the foundation to what we do next with our similar figures and scale factor. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.